in sub, to supply a load of 200 megawatt. Let us take both the machines with the group characteristic 4% and 3% respectively from no load to full load. Assume that at full load both the machines run at rated speed and system frequency 100, I mean, sorry 50. Calculate the load taken by each machine and operating frequency. The similar problem it is, but the description is something different, but the requirement is 100% the same. You have load of 200 megawatt on a machine, 100 megawatt capacity by one and 200 megawatt capacity by another. Groups being 4% for the machine one, 3% for the machine two. System frequency being 50 hertz. How is that sharing take place? At what frequency it satisfies the load? Then look into the representation. This is a very typical different style of representation wherein 50 hertz is considered as 50 divided by 50 as 1 pu in the old problem here. Yeah. Can you see this? 50 divided by 50 is 1 pu frequency. But here this book refers a different style. You can call it by this way or considering it this way also we can solve. What these people have done, 50 hertz is considered as 100% of frequency. 100% refers to 50 hertz. If I eliminate these two zeros here, make 1.00, is it not the same thing here like this? 1.00, 1.005. Same way, I can do this. 100, 101, 102, 103, 104, etc. So, they wanted to make 4% group means 1.04 that represented as number 104. So 104 refers to 4% point and 103 refers to 3% group. Can you see this point? They have drawn two separate curves. They have made, made it as 104 refers to 4% of point. 103 refers to 3% of point. So it is left to you how you can find the easiness in that. For me, making it 1.3, 1.04 works better. No matter, this is also correct. So from that 4%, what is the capacity? 100. Make the X axis graduated in terms of megawatt or PU. They have done percent and numbers. There is no per unit calculation. They have done with the actual numbers only. No matter, it doesn't make a difference. So therefore, 104 to 100 megawatt, draw a line. Then from 103, draw a line to 200. So that is the capacity of 200 machine. Now, 104 and 103 are their nominal no load steady state frequencies. When there is a load of 200 megawatt on them, how is that sharing take place and what will be the frequency is the question. Now what I will do from this 104 and from this 103, somewhere in between, let me mark a dotted line. This is a dotted line horizontal. Intersecting first curve at certain point, let it project down and get X. So X is the share of first machine. That is what I am trying to convey. And when this intersects with the second line, second slope, let it intersect somewhere 200 minus X. This uh, length of scale, I may take as 200 minus X is the share of machine two. X is the share of machine number one. At certain frequency, even I don't know at what point it is really making possibility. Just one, 104 down, 103 down the line, somewhere I made an arbitrary workout like that, I can imagine. And that is intersecting first line to get the X contribution and second line 200 minus X contribution because demand is 200. So this is being continued. Same thing is continued. Now see how it is being done. Let X megawatt be the load taken by machine 1, then the load taken by machine 2 is 200 minus x. This is a conventional way of definition. Both should operate at the same speed and frequency. That is what ultimately when they are delivering 200 megawatt, their frequency and RPM must be same such that they are able to match them. Means the RPM shall mean its required frequency of that combination. Therefore, equating the common frequency see this style of present this is different style this is dr jagadishan one of the best author who presented this power system operation control from their slide i have picked this problem so therefore 
So 104 minus 4% into X. See the LHS side, how I am pronouncing. 104 minus 4% into X equal to 103 minus 3 by 200 into 200 minus X. So I repeat that. 104 minus 4% group divided by capacity of that being 100. I go back here. This is 100. Then into X is a share equal to 103 is a no load frequency of that. Mean the representation of 3% group steady state frequency. 103 minus 3 divided by capacity of the machine 2. Machine 2 being 200. So 3% 3 by number. Just see number here. 3 divided by 200. Inside the bracket, the share of this machine. 200 minus 8. Ultimately, it is the ratio. What the ratio we have worked out in the previous problem? Similarly, this is another way to represent. If I, I tried it to resolve it similar to that, 100% I am getting the same answer. The method which we have done here, this kind of approach and taking ratio, getting the conclusion. Similarly, if I work this problem, I am getting the same answer. There is no doubt about it. So you can try. But I wanted to present you how different author view the problem differently. So it is 104 minus group in uh, number divided by its capacity into share equal to 103 is the group minus 3%, 3, 3 divided by capacity and share of that. When I compare these two equations, resolve, I'll be able to get X value. When I solve, X stand as 72.73 megawatts and definitely 200 minus X stand as 127.27. So, X is the share of first machine, 200 minus X is the share of second machine. So, there is no doubt, please try this problem like our conventional work what we have done in the previous problem. You are sure to get this answer and you can practice that same method. Or you can look forward how people look the problem in a different way. Then, to get the deviation, there is a drop in frequency, drop in frequency. We call it as a deviation. That deviation, if you want to work, you can see here, operating frequency. Either I can use LHS part or I can use RSS part, you can just see here. So, load on machine 1, load on machine 2. So, operating frequency equal to 104 minus 4 divided by capacity into X. This stand as 101.09%. It means, it is with respect to the value, 101.09 value. And convert it to real frequency if you want. What is being done? This into base frequency divided by 100. If I convert, this will be 50.545 hertz. You can see here, 100% corresponds to 50. Definitely line is above the 50. This dotted line is above the 100. And the value of the computation is also 101. Definitely it must be more than 50 hertz. Then it is 50.545 hertz. I use this LHS. You can try by RHS also. Then you can definitely find this value. This way, the share of load by two units can be worked out very simple. So my interest is to show you, even though problem is so simple, how it is being solved by different way, by two or three ratios, you can look forward or you can practice it in this way also. You may draw graphical or you may just go with the ratio and solve it by this one. So this computation method has to be practiced carefully. Next, I would like to take another problem here. Two identical machines. This is a very interesting problem. One and two groups respectively 5% and 2%. They share initial load of 100 megawatt equally operating at nominal frequency. If now there is an increase of 35 megawatt in the load, how would the additional load be shared? State any assumption. This is being done by that author who created the problem. Their interest is to explain. If there was a system, two machines were working parallel, sharing a certain load. Certainly, there is a shift in load. 
how will that shift is adjusted among both generator at that time of operation that is what we want to understand you can see here 5% group 2% group and they were sharing initially 100 megawatt equally means 50 50 megawatt each but we don't know what is the capacity of machine one capacity of machine two that is missing in this problem yes it is not given it is just an an exploration of concept group of machine one is 5% group of machine is 2% but their capacities are not mentioned for our study what is mentioned what they were sharing initially is 100 megawatt at equal proportion 50% with the machine one 50% with the machine two 50 megawatt 50 megawatt each they were sharing and operating at nominal frequency even frequency zero also not mentioned am i right let me take it as an assumption this is a textbook problem relevant to the previous problem and next problem it is connecting let us say nominal frequency as 50 in the examination it will be given there is no doubt about that such problems in the exam if they appear they must provide you sufficient data that time you cannot take whatever you like so therefore it is it must be given so if there is an increase of 35 megawatt load how would the additional load be shared taking assumption now for this what i will do i will not work it out this this content i will not discuss because this will not be immediately understood unless we have some mathematical connectivity 5% 2% 100 megawatt load they were sharing equally and 35 megawatt is a shift that's what the parameter i can get and system frequency i assume 50 now look to the frequency scale frequency scale yes there is a 100% here 100% line is intersecting at point a a refers to a point of intersection of two curves curve 1 curve 2 of the particular representation then a point is just project down it represents 50 both the machines curves were operating at point a they represent 50 megawatt each 50 megawatt from machine 1 50 megawatt 50 megawatt from machine 2 together making a load of 100 megawatt at initial point of their operation at steady state frequency nominal frequency nominal frequency whatever the frequency 100% of that is 100 that is 50 is considered in this case so this is the point of operation suddenly the case study says load is increased to lead increased by 35 megawatt this 35 megawatt totally corresponds to 135 megawatt load all together new load 35 megawatt is a jump now total load would be at that time 135 let us view how this 35 megawatt is adjusted among machine one machine two with the groups of 5% and 2% i have to calculate then before this point when they were sharing equal 50 megawatt was machine one capacity sharing 50 megawatt of second machine capacity being shared now i'll move forward look to the bottom here footer note is there directly i will consider this and i'll get back to your point of requirement so what is this let x be the share of unit 1 then share of unit 2 is 35 minus x like a conventional approach when i have two graphs plotted x and 35 minus x on horizontal side and delta f from vertical side if i take a ratio proportion to the common side in the triangle concept the same thing the whatever workout they have done you can understand this very easily if i consider this point so let x be the share of unit 1 and 35 minus x is the share of unit 2 then we know that frequency deviation commonly experienced by the machine delta f divided by share of machine 1 x is equal to its group nature 5% into frequency 50 hertz divided by its capacity 100% so i took 100% because it has been said here so it is being said 100% output is considered as 100 megawatt i consider 100% but i take this 100% definitely it lead me a similar relation delta f divided by 
थर्टी फाइव माइनस एक्स शेयर ऑफ सेकेंड मशीन इक्वल टू सिक्स परसेंट ग्रुप इंटू फिफ्टी हर्ट डिवाइड बाई हंड्रेड कैन आई सॉल्व दीज टू इक्वेशन बाई टेकिंग रेशियो एल एच एस आर एच एस वन डिवाइड बाई अनदर इफ आई डू आई बी गेटिंग एक्स सोल्यूशन एज टेन मेगावाट टेन मेगावाट इज अ शेयर फ्रॉम मशीन वन एंड थर्टी फाइव माइनस टेन ट्वेंटी फाइव मेगावाट इज अ शेयर ऑफ अदर माइ अदर मशीन देन Frequency deviation I can calculate. What is that frequency deviation from machine number one equation? Delta F by x. X I substitute over here and get delta F. So delta F by 10 equal to 5 percent into 50 divided by 100. It was 0.25 hertz. The shift down in the frequency from one is 0.25 or from 50 is 0.25. 0.25 hertz means new frequency of operation is 50 minus 0.25. That stand as 49.75 hertz. Suppose if I want to express this 49.75 in terms of percentage, see how it is being done. 49.75 divided by 50 into 100. That stand as 99.9 percent. There is a small dip. When there is a lower, there is a dip in frequency. So this is how I have solved it for the first attempt. Having noticed this problem, how it can be solved by ratio? X being the first share, 35 minus X being the second machine's share, considering the similar parameter of ratio 100, and how it is going to work it out? 10 megawatt from machine one, 25 megawatt from machine two, they have to share. Then 10 megawatt is the extra share. Old share was 50 megawatt. 50 plus 10 is the new share of machine one, and another machine. 50 plus 25, 75 megawatt is the another machine share at the end of my conclusion. Then I'll come back to this. The frequency decreases when there is a loading. We can draw a horizontal line by trial and error method. Can you see this? Why I made you people to look at the photo of this page? You have to do this trial and error method to look at the frequency at which the total load supplied by both the generator is 135. It means I go back here. When I draw a curve of 5% group, 2% group, operating from A, A being the point of initial point, A is given by 100 megawatt is shared equally. This point is said to you 100% frequency and 100% it's a 50-50 share. This is your point of the graph. And above this graph point, you have to draw a line which lines are of 5% slope. And two percent load. Now we got what will be the activity here. Without having the capacity and uh, marking known on the x-axis, you must be able to draw a slope, a line y equal to mx plus c like slope, which is having five percent droop and two percent droop operating or passing through a, passing through a, a being an intersecting point on hundred percent line. So at this point. These two curves are plotted. Hence, I took you mathematically first. So, this problem where capacitors are not mentioned, you cannot locate the lines on the x-axis that easily. Therefore, you have to find out 100% line operating with the 50-50 loading, and around this point, you have to draw two lines passing with the slopes of 5% and 2%, touching respectively at frequency scale and power scale on the Y and X axis respectively. So now you observe at this point A. From this point A, see, from this point, if I make a dotted line again, like earlier, a ruler-like line, equal to 100% horizontal, slowly you move move down that line, move down and observe when is that line intersect slope one, slope two curves. So there is a 10 megawatt marking with the arrow head. You can see. This is touching this line. Certainly, at the point, a ruler, horizontal ruler, is scrolled down slowly, graphically. Error, trial and error method. When it scrolls down, 10 megawatt is intersecting point on first slope. Similarly, at that time, if I move forward, if I move forward, this line, same line, it will touch somewhere 25 megawatt on other line. It means to say, when the frequency scale is scrolled down or a ruler is scroll, scrolled down. The line is intersecting at 99.5 percent, 99.5, 
which is making a possibility of 10 megawatt point of 50 to 60 jump. Can see 50 was the original point. 50 is the new share, and what is the 60? 50 plus 10, 60 is the point. Then similarly, the another machine already it was 50 megawatt, 25 is extra, 75 is the new loading. It means the 75 value will be intersecting on that point when the roller is touching on these two point of 60 on the first slope, point of 75 on the second slope represents graphically. Hence, it is totally going in a very definite, specific manner. So I took mathematical step first. What is the sharing? Then I'll come to tell you what is that next share from machine one, which is 50 plus 10, and what is the next share from machine two, which is 50 plus 25, 75. Together, 60 plus 75 turns out to be 135 megawatt. Then I have this understanding. We know that how I did this ratio. You have here. Delta P by P1 by delta P2 equal to R2 by R1. The sharing up of displacement in power, additional increment power demand from the machine is inversely proportional to regulation. This was the uh, sharing concept. We have seen it. If I go back and show you, what is the meaning of that? This is how delta P1 by delta P2 equal to R2 by R1. When two generators are sharing a certain load, shipment in demand. And when I take delta P1, delta P2, and I solve them, when I take a ratio, then it becomes delta P1 by delta P2 equal to R2 by R1. So this is what is the actual concept being used here by the author. Here, delta P1 by delta P2 equal to R2 by R1. So I can solve this way, or I can solve by this way. See the way you have to practice concrete one concept, then analogous to which, if you find easier, you can look forward. So therefore. Delta P1, let the share be delta P1 from machine one. Let the share of delta P2, machine two, is inverse ratio of their loads. Therefore, delta P2, when I write, it is 35 megawatt net demand minus the share of P1. If I locate here and I take a ratio, I'll be able to get what is delta P1. Nothing but what is X for me. The same is delta P1. When I get delta P1 equal to 10 megawatt, then using the another ratio second time. Delta P2. So it's a very simple problem. This problem is very simple, but its the graphical approach is complicated. Graphically, you cannot solve that easily because it's a trial and error based uh, roll and uh, reach point is very difficult. Hence, mathematically, you need to remember the equation and apply them, use them to solve. Later, you can narrate them. At this point, what happens when there is a drop in frequency and is a roll down? When is that matching point of additional load requirement comes to the matching point? This way you need to concern. So you need not worry about graphical. At least this numerical part you can concentrate carefully. This way a simple problem of eight marks worth you can attempt in the examination in the internal assessment test also. Let's move into another problem. Two generators. 200 megawatt and 400 megawatt are operating in parallel. The group characteristics of their governors are 4% and 5% respectively, from no load to full load. 200 megawatt and 400 megawatt generator in parallel, having groups 4% and 5% respectively, from no load to full load. The speed set points are such that generators operate at 50 hertz. When sharing the full load, it means when they are sharing full load, 200 megawatt and 400 megawatt, their operating frequency is 50 hertz. When sharing a full load of 600 megawatt, it means 200 plus 400, in proportion to their rating, the one. If the load reduces to 400 megawatt, now you see the case study is going reverse. All the time, load increment you have seen. Now you are finding decrement in load. If the decrement in load is occurring, frequency shoots up. This is what we have to control. Then this is the problem initiating that discussion. So if the load reduces to 400, how is it shared? At what frequency will system operate? 50 hertz was there 
normal operating point when full load was extracted from the machine with the groups 4 and 5 percent. Load is reduced to 400. Then how is that sharing on machine 1, machine 2 as well? What is that frequency at that time? If, second point, the speed changes are reset to so reset so that the load of 400 megawatt is shared at 50 hertz in proportion to their rating. What are the no load frequencies now? It means the speed changes at machine one, machine two are reset such that 400 megawatt is shared. That is held at 50 hertz only. It should be shared at 50 hertz. What is that change in megawatt set point in the speed changer to be done? It means. I take you back very systematically to you. What is being demanded in this case is, I take you back. Just a minute. Here, the demand which is causing drop in frequency by input fuel. This speed changer has to change. Governor is not in action. The speed changer has to change the set point of governor of, I mean, set point of machine 1, machine 2, such that its reflection is on input increment. It is less than 50 hertz when there is a load. Definitely that is shift, we have to bring it to 50 hertz. 50 hertz is a requirement. Then you have to open the wall. Then what is that correction we have to apply from the speed changer point of view, not from the feedback. If feedback is not considered, who will correct it? Either set point or feedback are the two points which we can correct on the requirement. It is focusing on what is that correction at the speed changer to be done to arrest that drop in frequency and bring it back to 50 hertz. So, governor is not inputting you. Its correction is corrected here itself. That's what you have to do here. Here. So, what are there? No load frequencies at that time. Now, just see this. The curve. Very simple. Graphically, we will take first. Two machines are there. I have machine 1, machine 2. Machine 1 is 4 percent with a 200 megawatt. Machine 2 is 5 percent with a 200 megawatt. They are operating at 50 hertz. So, 4 percent means 1.04, 5 percent means 1.05, 2 PU, 400 correspond to 4 PU for me if I work on PU basis and 50 hertz become 100 percent or 1 for me. 1, 1.04, 1.05, 2 and 4 are my PU points. That's two. You can see 0, 1 point is 2 and there is 4 megawatt capacity in PU. And 50 hertz is 1 PU, 1, 1.04, 1.05. .05. What I was narrating are the point of 1.04, loop beginning of first machine, draw it to 2, 200 megawatt. This is the first machine's loop frequency power representation. Then 1.05, 5% group machine 2 machine, which is having a slope 1.05 connecting to 4 PU. Then I just draw it. Can see? It is very simple. Then, when do they share the load? Let us draw a line just below this 1.05, 1.05, somewhere at F1. Draw a horizontal line like this. Correct? Which will intersect at point C1 and at point C2. Now I have some point A, B, C and O. O or initial point. A, B, C, O, C1, C2. Okay. Then the C2, C1 is the share of machine 1, which is say X. Let X be the share of machine 1. Then 4 minus x, 400 minus x, that is my 4 PU. 4 minus x is the share of machine 2 from this axis. Then this delta f, I need to check it out. So x is the share, 4 minus x is the share of second machine. Now I will come back. We know that the group characteristics are drawn as in the previous example as well like this. I draw it. 1.04 to 200, 2, 1.05 to 5, and I assume a certain line by trial and error method, I just draw a line intersect at C1, C2 respectively, 
mark them as x and four minus x, and let the frequency prevailing to this be f one. Then I come back. So since six hundred megawatt is shared in proportion to their rating, unit one supplies two hundred and unit two supplies four hundred because six hundred corresponds to two hundred plus four hundred. They were supplying full capacity with their capacity respectively. Therefore, both the units operate at hundred percent full load when supplying. 600 megawatt. Then, by taking 100 as a base, they convert the power. So they convert the power. So 4 pu, whatever the frequency, 4 percent become 1.04, 5 percent become 1.05, 50 hertz become 1 pu frequency, and 200 become 2, 200 become 4. Like that, it is being done. So if is 1 pu, 2 plus 4 6 pu. Now 400 corresponds to It was 4 pu. Let x pu be the output of unit one for your share. Then the total load on the other machine being total load being 400, the other machine's share is 4 minus 6. The same concept, whatever we have dealt, the same concept is being taken here. Now it is 4 minus x. Now you observe this representation. What is this being done? BC by BO equal to CC one by OO one. What is this BC BO? Let us see. BC BC means this one. Where is that? BC this decrement in frequency. BC by BO BO and this is BC. So this is unknown to you, and BO is known to you as 1.04. BC by BO from the first triangle concept equal to CC1 by OO1. CC1 by OO1. Let us see what is CC1. CC1. CC1 by OO1 here. Okay. So therefore. I will be comparing these triangles BC by BO and CC1 by OO1. It corresponds to 4% minus delta F divided by 4% equal to share of X per capacity 2 pu. This is the way of writing when you have Let's come back to this. When you have machines having common value, that base is easy to understand here. What is the x? What is four minus x? How is this common side? We can get directly. When the beginning point of this is not the common here, this is the problem which we I am trying to address. This is different beginning here. Then I have to address this triangle with inner triangle, smaller triangle, B C C one. B C C one B O O one this larger triangle. Are you able to see this triangle? Let me convey once again. B C C one a triangle corresponding to machine number one and B O O one and B this larger triangle. This another triangle in which smaller triangle is inscribed. The another what we can do is A C C two. A C C two. Then I have A O O two. A O O two. Complete outer triangle, larger triangle. Okay. And inscribe triangle A C C two. This is inside triangle of that larger triangle. Inscribe inside. So these triangles must be considered. It was easier for me when A was it B in, in coincide. A was B in the old problem. It was easy for me. Now it is not that easy immediately. Therefore, I have to take individual triangle, compare the larger triangle inscribing it, and in, individual triangle and larger triangle inscribing it for the comparison. That is being done. So it is BC by BO. BC by BO, small triangle and larger triangle of that BO. Okay, BC 
BO equal to CC1 OO1. CC1, the adjacent side of that, CC1 OO1, the larger triangle whose base CC1 divided by OO1 is corresponding to the first triangle relationship, which is equal to which is equal to by ratio 4% minus delta F divided by 4% equal to share of machine 1 divided by its capacity. Similarly, AC by AO, AC by AO. When you come to this, this is what the loading here. Ultimately, delta F by loading, delta F by loading will come down here. How you come graphically, this is the way. So, AC by AO. What is AC by AO? AC, AC divided by AO, AC, AO equal to CC2, CC2 divided by OO2, CC2, OO2, CC2 base of small triangle in the second concept divided by base of larger triangle OO2. Like BCBO, like ACAO, CCC1, CC1, OO1, it is CC2, OO2. You can see CC2, OO2, which is given as its group 5% minus delta F, common frequency divided by 5% equal to share of its. X was shared by first machine. 4 minus x was shared by second machine to its capacity PU4. Then from these two equations, if I take ratio, we will be able to get on shift and transfer. Take this 0 0.04 here, 0 0.04 here and transfer here. You will get delta F divided by 0 0.04 equal to 1 minus 0.5x. From this equation, delta F by 0 0.05 equal to 0.25x. This means this equation can be written directly by ratio. But this is graphically shown to you how that comparison of triangle of machine 1 with the larger triangle inscribing it. Small triangle of machine 2, a larger triangle inscribing that second machine's uh, concept has to be taken. So when I take them, these are the two equations I'll be getting. Then on solving them, you can see here, ratio of these two. When I solve them, I'll be getting just here, 0 0.05 divided by 0 0.04. If I take a division of these two, divide 1 by 2, you will get 0 0.05 upper, 0 0.05, 0 0.04 lower. And this 1.0, 1 minus 0.5x divided by 0.25x. When I solve this, I will be getting x. So this is how, when I have different groups, working is not that easier. Therefore, when the groups are different, I should work carefully by taking ratios of triangle size and I can narrate them by calculating the unknown value first by x, x by taking the relationship stand as 123.077 megawatt. But the load total expected by me at this state is 400. So 123 is shared by machine 1, then remaining is 4 minus x, 2.7692. It means 4 minus 1.23 PU in terms of PU. It is into 100 when I do, it becomes 276.922. If I add 123.077, 276.923, it will become 400 to me. Then I can calculate using either this equation or this equation or any one of the equations simplified. What is that deviation I get? Both the machine experience this. See, this delta F in this case, this is not delta F, this is not delta F. This is a commonly felt value, F1. F1 is the new value of frequency by both the machines having their groups 4%, 5%, settled commonly at a frequency. Hence, therefore, I was not able to get this delta F, this delta F commonly. Hence, I use the comparison of triangle over here. Then, this delta F in the relationship works out as point one of the equation I will take. So, this is taken here. 0.25x into 0 0.05, x is substituted here, you can see here, 0.25x into 0 0.05, x stands here as the PU, 
1.23 then it become 0.01538 pu then you will see frequency is 1 plus delta f is 50.79 hertz so now we can see where is settle here one is here settle frequency is here is it below the 50 or above the 50 it is naturally above the 50 what the decrement you get this is a floating point for net scale that is above by 1 that is what is mentioned here delta f is 0.01538 discrete value the discrete value is over the base of 1 pu then this is added to this so 1.0153 is a per net actual frequency when 400 megawatt is shared if i convert into 50 it becomes 50.769 hertz now you get back to the graph so x is a share four minus x is a share so this is how uh, a point of f using small triangle the larger triangle inscribing that and ac c2 small triangle and inscribing large triangle when i use them i will be able to compare by this equation and i'll be able to get the solution so therefore this kind of problem you need to at least try once at least one standard problem then you will be able to get the confidence difference between methodology to be used for this and another now what is part two the shared if now the speed changer are reset now the second case is speed changer are commanded not the governor to work at 50 hertz only now what is the frequency now 50.769 this has to be brought to 50 i have to bring it down to 50 what is that correction i should do at governor mean the set point of particular generator 1 generator 2 is question to me so therefore if the speed changes are reset so that load of 400 megawatt is shared at 50 hertz only proportion to their rating then what are the no load frequency what must be there frequencies at no load to check that see the case study here now the governor settings are changed such that they must share 400 megawatt in proportion to their capacity at 50 hertz then how is that 400 megawatt is shared is very simple mathematical proportional sharing see how it is being done it is a division 400 is the total load so two units are sharing this what are the two units 200 megawatt and 400 megawatt their total capacity is 600 it means it is 6 pu so i have 400 into 200 divided by 600 200 is the sharing capacity of machine 1 600 is the sharing capacity of total so zero zeros are eliminated because they are cancelled 200 megawatt divided by 600 megawatt into capacity what they should share in proportion 400 into 200 divided by 600 stand as 133 megawatt then 133 megawatt divided by 100 means 1.33 pu output of second is i have done here side by side which is 400 total into capacity of machine 2 400 divided by total capacity of combination like this 400 divided by 600 that stand as 266.61 megawatt it means they are sharing in proportion means disturbance into its capacity divided by total capacity of combination this ratio we call as in proportion to the capacity so that's what the meaning now the governors are set such that they share the 400 megawatt in proportion to their capacity rating if that is the ratio you should calculate the best disturbance next disturbance for total disturbance into capacity of machine one divided by total combination capacity 200 divided by 600 in this case the same is for second machine 400 divided by 600 this all should be worked out so problems are very simple but it require lot of understanding of problem contextually so therefore it should be seen repeatedly you must watch the problem understand the lines of work what is being done to resolve the complexity of that problem then you will come to know yes this is how such a problem need to be worked out like that
So now I have one more uh, understanding. If there is a frequency of 1 pu at 4 pu, uh, 4 pu, it can be, now the groups must be calculated. I have to calculate the groups here. This is a sharing. 1.33 must be the output of machine 1. 2.66 must be the output of machine 2 at 50 hertz means with the 400 megawatt load. Then how my graph will be drawn then? He has asked me. What is the ask? What are the no load frequencies? If the 4%, 5% refers to, in this case, 1.05, 1.04. Like that, what will be the mark of this no load frequency for a case of B part? I have to draw it. To draw that, my landing point of machine 1 on X axis is 1.33. For machine 2 is 2.66. Then what is the beginning point on frequency scale then? What is the point of here, point of here for machine 1, machine 2? I have to calculate. Then for that you can see 1.33, 2.66 are the marks. What are these things? Mark, start point, start point. I have to calculate. For that, here the frequency is 1 PU for the common. At 1 PU, machine 1 shares 1.33 megawatt PU, 2.667 PU megawatt. Then from where they have begun from their no load, this point F1, the point F2, I have to calculate. To calculate them, so see this, we plot the droop characteristic with the same slopes of 4%. From this point, 4% droop, when I project and 5% droop, I project backward, then they will intersect at a point 1.0200 like this. It means from this point, when I take this line passing, so from this point of operation with the 1 PU as a operating point, intersection point, draw a line having the slope of how much? 4% for machine 1 and 5% for machine 2. So when I have a 4% droop, a line is flo um, uh, floating like this. That will intersect at a frequency scale backward at 1.02. So now you imagine. Will this be a problem in the exam? So such problems that uh, right now I am asking you will be analytic. Very difficult. They will not be asked. The first part will be a typical problem you can expect in the exam. Because this you need to reproduce in the graphical way. It's quite difficult. So therefore, we have to work out 4% group from point of 1.33 intersecting 1 PU line of frequency. Backward when it intersects, that is the one. Similarly, a 2.667 point on 1 PU frequency scale, backward when it is produced with a 5% slope, intersect at 1.0333. We can see here. Now, into 50, into 50, if I do, they become 51.33 and 51.665 hertz. They were the initial operating points of them. And when they are loaded 400 megawatt, then 400 megawatt, I want to schedule at 1 PU frequency only. I don't want to have higher frequency and lower frequency. 50 hertz is my requirement. Then to have them 50 hertz combined, their no load frequencies must be higher than this. That should be 1.02 PU, 1.03 PU like that. When these frequencies are compelled by a load of 400 megawatt, they drop down, settle to 50 hertz as a common. You can see here, they have done it. The slope of unit 1, 0 0.04 divided by 2 equal to delta F1 by 1.33. They have just done it. Clear? So this is how we need to look forward with the problem. So as for me, part 2 is just an extension work. Mostly you can just study and leave it up. And part 1 is surely a problem which you can expect in the examination. Similarly, another problem. Because that is the two slopes of different, different rating, it becomes necessary for me to understand further. Then I have a next problem, two generators rated 120 megawatt and 250 megawatt in parallel. The governors are to give a droop of 4% and 3% respectively, unit 1, unit 2. The setting for such that they operate at 50 hertz on full scale or full load, determine the load taken by each machine for a total load of 200 megawatt. The percentage adjustment in no load speed to be made in the faster machine if the machines have to share the load equally. Here is the second question. First question is very easier. 
200 megawatt is the load by machine one machine two with the group of 4% 3% working at 50 hertz full load how is that sharing being done what is the frequency it will settle that's all in the first part the second part is demanding something else percentage adjustment in no load speed like what just now graphically i have made you to understand what is the load sharing percentage like 1.0 1.05 we got it 1.0200 and 1.33 whatever the initial set point initial uh, frequencies the same thing is being asked here the percentage adjustment in no load speed to be made in the faster machine in only one of the machine not in both which is faster to reply for a load shared equally 200 megawatt is shared 100 on one machine 100 on another machine the only machine which is responding faster faster dynamically faster has to be compared that is the story behind this second question let us work it out so the first part of this i just take 1.04 1.03 on PU, you can see 1.04 mark and 1.03 mark. 1.04, 120. 120, I take a divide by 100, 1.2. Can you see here? 1.2. 1.04, draw a line up to 1.2. Then 1.03, make it to 2.5 here. Can you see here? This line is being done. Therefore, I have just constructed two slopes on this. Now, when they are supplying a load of certain 200, when this 50 hertz being one PU frequency scale, let us say at certain frequency F1 on a frequency scale F1 mark here at point B, draw a horizontal line, which intersect at B1 and B2. B1 on axis, I mean slope 1, B2 on machine 2, curve. Now it becomes let B B1 is a portion of the load shared by machine 1 x may, uh, PU and 2 minus x by machine 2. Like the same con uh, concept of two curves being plotted on a similar graph and x being the share of machine 1, 2 minus x being the share of machine 2 as usual. Then it is straightforward. Again I have A, D, B, C. Just observe the points. I am reading A, D, B, C. Here I have B1, B2. At the edge I have C, C1, C2. So now you got the logic. When two slopes, different beginning points, ratio of the triangles doesn't work in a like a conventional problem. Then you have to take inner triangle of the machine one, outer triangle inscribing that. Then inner triangle of the small and outer triangle inscribing. So therefore, I have to work again like this problem. Inner triangle inscribing larger triangle and inner triangle and inscribing larger triangle for the comparison. Same way it is being done. You can see A, B, B, C, B1, C1, B2, C2 point make it possible. So therefore, X being the load share from machine 1, 2 minus X being the load share from machine 2. Then how do I compare? Just see. I have taken the graph here once again for your good view. So what I am done here? Just observe here. I made some note here for you to understand this quality carefully, care, uh, like compared to other ones. AB by AC. What is AB? AB. The triangle which is first uh, this can be AB by AC. AB by AC equal to B B1 by C C1. B B1 by C C1. Now observe me a triangle here. Just I wrote the triangle. This is a triangle, right angle triangle. I am observing. I hope you are able to see my mouse cursor. This is a triangle I am addressing. In this triangle, I can visualize one triangle here, upper half. This is the upper half triangle. And this is inscribed by a larger triangle outer like this. This is a triangle. Hope it is clear to you. Inner triangle. This is the one known. A, B, B1. A, B, B1. A, C, C1. 
from that what is being written let's see ab by ac ab by ac vertical side b given by cc1 horizontal side b given by cc1 on other side in the another triangle d c c2 d c c2 then i have d b b2 d b b2 d c c2 similar work i can do what is that db by dc can you see db by dc vertical axis db by dc equal to b b2 b b2 divided by c c2 okay so vertical side ratio divided by horizontal side ratio of common triangles being done now let us look what is exactly ab refers to here what is db i have made some note here ab refers to a side here is it an ab a point of working point for sharing up of load is f1 is nothing but b for me ab i want to know ab equal to look into this ac minus bc i note here ac minus bc so this is marked as change in frequency from 1 pu 1 pu is the unit frequency 1 pu is the unit frequency from this frequency somewhere f1 is pointing here nothing but b b and this in uh, c this is called as change in frequency that is the frequency from the steady state 1 pu frequency settled above and operating this we call as change in frequency as delta f it is 1.04 minus delta f i wrote here can you see this then similarly what is db here in the numerator db d b this point db is dc dc is 1.03 1.03 minus again bc what is bc bc is again deviation now you will be in a very clear understanding of the previous problem as well where i made this note for your understanding so db is dc minus bc bc is delta f so 1.04 minus delta f and 1.03 minus delta f are your numerator terms that you can see 1.04 minus delta f and for this 1.03 minus delta f so equation 1 equation 2 i wrote here then what are these other terms bb1 bb2 let us understand bb1 look at this bb1 what is this x share of first machine which is x here what is bb2 share of other machine what is the share of other machine other machine is sharing the total load minus x 2 minus x you can see here 2 minus x so upper half of this right hand side is x the another is 2 minus x now similarly what is uh, uh, other term cc1 and cc2 this one cc1 cc1 is the point of capacity of machine 1 it is 1.2 capacity 120 megawatt cc1 and cc2 being the 2.5 pu or 250 megawatt let's like so i will be able to understand these things very easily if you refer this note this graph can be understood very easily so you have all the data 1.04 pu 1.03 pu delta f then x 2 minus x and 1.2 and 2.5 pu all these values are here those are input in this ratio so you can see now ab is 1.04 and delta f divided by ac what is ac for you ac is 1.04 for the machine 1 now you are in a very easy to understand what i mentioned in this problem you can see here dc by bo 1.04 minus delta f divided by 0.04 so you we got it by ratio this is understood very well when i refer this table hope this is making you clear
please work this problem on the paper because this is a textbook problem i have taken very specifically you can refer the textbook and you can understand from that so similarly when i substitute all these values and i simplify i get first equation when i substitute values in this equation by this content i will get second equation and equation 1 equation 2 if i take ratio 3 divided by 4 equation 3 and 4 1 2 3 4 give me value of x what is that sharing of out of the 200 megawatt by machine 1 which is x 75 megawatt numerically will be getting 75 megawatt then what must be other than 200 minus 75 must be 125 so it must be there then what is the steady state frequency settled that is the f1 f1 i want to calculate see, see here x is 75 megawatt and delta f this delta f i can use either equation 1 or equation 2 to get delta f delta f stand here as 0.015 pu then what is the position of revised frequency revised frequency is above the unit speed frequency one plus this because it is above this what is this deviation it is 0.015 pu plus the one 1.015 pu is your net pu into 50 it is 55 you are sure that these two generator having 4% 3% drop per share of 200 megawatt low their operating point frequency is 50.75 in the first part of the study this is what is being first part of the study 200 megawatt is addressed by 75 megawatt by machine 1 and 125 megawatt by machine 2 and the f1 being the 50.75 hertz but what the second says adjustment must be done at no load speed such that on a faster machine the load must be shared equally and at in its speed then what is being done load is shared is 75 from first machine 125 from second machine at 50.75 hertz the load of 200 megawatt if shared equally then 100 megawatt by each nothing but 1 pu each then here the machine with 4% regulation has higher no load speed so there were comparison one is 4% and there is 3% which will respond faster if the faster responding you have to check here machine with the 4% regulation has higher no load speed so we change the set point of governor of this machine so that load of 200 megawatt is shared equally so the machine responding faster is 4% regulation so that is compared such that equally sharing is done so if i change this automatically 75 megawatt and 125 megawatt this will uh, dissolve what if no machine is 75 which will be accelerated it become 100 and automatically 25 become other side it is like that only first machine is 4% first is sharing 75 megawatt it has to absorb more and more power now to share the load then it is compared increase its generation to 100 and this is made to share to the other side so therefore 4% regulation machine which is responding faster has to be compared then load sharing must occur by 50 50% then you will see the load supplied by unit 2 become 100 megawatt and load supplied by machine 1 also become 100 we find out at what frequency unit 2 supply a load of 100 megawatt from the graph you will get 1.018 we can calculate as follows let delta f1 be the drop in speed from 1.03 because 1.03 is the frequency what we have got here 1.0 here is 1.03 here here is that 1.03 here 1.03 nothing but the machine um, machines no load speed 1.03 this is the speed then 1.03 Divided by its capacity, 2.5 means 250 megawatt equal to delta F by increment of 1 megawatt means 100 megawatt, 1 pu. Delta F1 by sharing, sharing is 1 pu, nothing but 100. Group divided by capacity, 3% group divided by 2.5 is pu capacity. 
when I take this ratio, what is that frequency I am going to get? That is deviation of 0 0.012. That is from 1.03 minus 0 0.012, nothing but 1.018. So therefore, 1.03 and all these values, if we need calculate, will be able to work out these requirement. So they will be able to provide the sharing equally at 1.018. So additional to this, this is an extra work. So my suggestion is, let us understand how sharing occurs, how that equal sharing will make a difference.